And listening to that was Yossi Balin, a former Israeli justice minister who initiated back-channel negotiations that eventually led to the Oslo Accord. Uh, very good to see you there. Can I ask you, first of all, for your reaction to where Israel is placed tonight? Well, I, I, I totally agree with your analysis. Uh, it is a very, very difficult uh, moment. It seems like uh, a kind of a victory for Hamas, although I believe that it might be a pirus victory for uh, them. But they are dictating, uh, of course, the, the conditions. And uh, it makes it uh, difficult for Israelis to to swallow it. Uh, but uh, of course, there, there is a big majority for it, although there is no need for a referendum. By the way, people can uh, appeal to the Supreme Court when they have they can, the list. They can appeal, yeah. yes. Yeah, but um, never in the past uh, the Supreme Court accepted any appeal like that. And so, uh, Yossi, let me ask you about basically Israeli public opinion, because if, as we suspect, Hamas wants to draw this out and release groups of hostages every few days and demand a longer and longer truce or ceasefire and perhaps ask for Israeli forces to pull back at one point and so on. How is Israeli public opinion going to react to this position? Will the pressure still be on Benjamin Netanyahu and the government to stick to such a deal? Yes, no doubt about it. I mean, there, there are the extremists on the right which uh, who, will may, who may vote against it even uh, tonight. Uh, the cabinet, uh, but they, they are a small minority even in the government, not only in the population. Mm. And so far, um, Mr. Netanyahu has de described Hamas as an utterly appalling terrorist organization that must be entirely eradicated. And yet now here Israel is uh, negotiating with this organization. Do you think some kind of change of attitude to Hamas is going to come out of the process? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, these, these negotiations are not uh, political negotiations. They are not for peace. Hamas doesn't want peace, doesn't want to, to have a Palestinian state, uh, doesn't uh, recognize Israel, will not recognize Israel. And uh, But uh, speaking uh, with them indirectly about the hostages is the only thing that we can do. And that that was done in the past again. It is not it is not something which is a change of heart. Uh, the, mm. There is a big consensus in Israel, even among people like myself, who believe that the only way uh, with Hamas is to remove them from power in Gaza. And, and so that has not happened yet. Mm. And this is why it is it is impossible to have a long ceasefire. This is why they want ceasefires and they will fight for ceasefires and uh, i hope that uh, eventually although it is very difficult and very costly uh, we will get rid of of uh, the hamas uh, government we cannot get rid of the hamas followers i mean they they have uh, supporters they have voters but we are speaking about the hamas uh, government uh, that should not be there anymore and and the military machine uh, indeed and presumably Hamas know that the more hostages they release, the likelier it is for a final and full Israeli attack on them. So it is in their interests for this process to go on as long as possible. Forever. Forever, yeah. Yeah, but uh, it, it will not happen. I mean, it will be quite uh, obvious when, when everybody understands that they are playing a game. Uh, they don't. They don't control all the hostages uh, uh, mm. because some of them were taken by by private families, apparently others by the Islamic Jihad. Uh, so it's it's a very it's a very vague picture. We don't know exactly uh, what is happening there. And a very, very difficult thing for Mr. Netanyahu to get through this. He's sitting there at the security cabinet, surrounded by some very right-wing uh, members of other political parties. What is your thoughts about his own medium-term future as a political leader now? It's over. It's over. You think so? It's over. I, 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 I cannot see. Maybe he believes that he can somehow outmaneuver the whole world and remain the prime minister. Uh, but uh, I don't see any chance for him to to continue, uh, even in his own party. You see also in public opinion polls of Likud uh, voters uh, who are against them, uh, him. It, it's it's 
more than half of the Likud voters are against him. They want to have another prime minister, not to speak about the general public opinion. He is very, very unpopular. Uh, Gantz mm-hmm. today is much, much more popular than him. And Gantz's party uh, gets something like 42 out of 120 seats, while he gets about 17 or 18 seats. So his, his political career is over. And uh, I, I believe that one of the options, although people don't believe that it might happen, is that he will resign.